Thank you so much. Um, right now, we start to a completely different topic, um, leaving the field of anthropology and archaeology towards um, um, uh, an invitation that I want to extend to you uh, towards more of a philosophical um, and a sociological perspective on the genesis uh, and the origins of the digital humanities and the discussions surrounding um, their formation. Um, I want to introduce to you a sociological interpretation of this formation process based on uh, the perspective of the subjectivation discourse by Michel Foucault, based on my readings um, on a, a meta review on these DH discussions during my PhD, where I read both Luhmann and Foucault um, venturing out in the field of discourses and uh, systems that also have been played a part in the previous presentations, which I want to discuss here with you today, how um, the becoming of the digital humanities could be framed as a discourse of subjectivations. As you all familiar, the digital humanities um, have since their conception, the nominal conception in the early 2000s, um, by um, two publications I want to mention here. One is the syllabus um, by Drucker and Answers in 2001 um, in Virginia University. Um, the other one is the Blackwell Companion that made um, the, the age popular um, uh, in a certain sense. Um, I said the nominal conception because the DH used to be uh, humanities computing. Um, only in 2001, um, it's the earliest mentioning I found they have been renamed to um, the Digital Humanities. This origin also reflects um, in the syllabus um, uh, mentioning here up there that uh, the history of the Digital Humanities is actually the history of humanities um, computing. Um, which and the name signifies uh, the name shift signifies also a change from computing to the digital as um, a new focus. So, what are the DH? Um, this will be only a very cursory overview because um, there has been written a lot about this. There can be said hours of time on this. Um, let's say. Um, the DH are considered a paradigm change by their practitioners. Uh, um, however, the community has been struggling to find a common definition um, for the very heterogeneous endeavors within multiple fields. So it has been described as a subdiscipline, um, but also as a meta discipline. For example, um, with this figure by uh, Patrick Saale, um, who uh, tried to um, encompass these different definitions of what the digital humanities are um, as, an, uh, as a meta discipline that transcends disciplinary boundaries. But it also has been described as a completely separate discipline with it, their own institutions, um, own research questions, own methods, um, and own uh, um, uh, an independence from all their respective mother fields. It also has been described as an auxiliary science, like having no independence um, whatsoever. Um, it's been described as a set of methods, tools, for example, by IAS, a toolbox um, in uh, multiple publications, or even simply as a workflow or a digitization process. So if you digitized something in the past, this has also been described as being um, DH. Finally, um, um, it, there's also a political notion to what the DH are. Um, it has been described as a big tent encompassing all these different um, fields within the humanities, um, criticized as a meaningless umbrella term. Um, you probably remember these discussions in the early 2000s. Um, but also as a tactical term in order to attract funding um, while not being um, necessarily an, an independent discipline or field at all. Um, so this only as um, to set the scene for uh, the different kinds of discussions ha happening. Um, what my hypothesis here is that these external and internal discussions within DDH are obviously a negotiation process. Um, on what belongs um, not, or what belongs to the DH, um, and uh, the frameworks, the modes of operation and plays within or outside uh, the disciplines, also due to the impermanence um, of their institutions, and as such can be framed as a subjectivation discourse following um, Foucault. 
And this objectivation discourse happen, happens both in the formation of the digital humanities within a community that perceives itself as the age and um, the practitioners who self-proclaim being either digital humanists or using digital humanities methods to an extent. So this is the hypothesis. Um, I will explain what um, I mean with the subjectivation discourse right now. So I will guide you through this argument. So what is subjectivation? Um, according to Foucault, this is the process of forming an individual to a subject with agency. So the practice of subjectivation is the participation in something called a discourse with relational power dependencies. Um, I tried to um, give you this uh, figure in order to facilitate um, understanding. We have two main um, uh, terms in this regard. We have the subject, which um, um, is partic participating in this discourse, which resolves, uh, revolves around power. Power, in this sense, I would rather rephrase as influence, um, actually. Um, so the individual shapes what is acceptable content in a negotiation process with other subject in a certain discourse. Um, and it also re uh, resolves the subject has another property beyond power, its position. So it positions itself either inside um, uh, the group of the discourse or against the group of the discourse. So in theoretically, there's also a degree of surrender to the discourse um, possible. Then uh, we have the thing um, called uh, a discourse. Um, so discourse is um, a rather weird um, system, actually, uh, according to Foucault, it's a, it's a historical contingent social system that produces knowledge and meaning. Um, it is created out of negoti negoti negotiation processes, but also cyclically influences these negotiation processes, again, by providing a framework of operation. So we have um, uh, relations in both uh, sides. So the subject, for once, is created by these power relations within um, the, um, the discourse. And uh, the discourse is, um, constitutes both about the socio-historical context that the subject is operating in, so the, uh, the framework um, of what, we're happening, uh, what is happening, and also epistles. Epistles are so-called truths during the time, which, however, are dependent on the time, what is considered to be true um, at a certain um, uh, period. So, and uh, this context and the epistles basically set a realm of what is possible during this discourse, so the so-called Möglichkeitsraum. Um, the discourse is also structured um, by a distinct set of rules, which Foucault called the technologies of self. Um, these rules actually structure of what is acceptable content within the discourse. And what is acceptable, however, is constantly renegotiated during the process. So it sets a possible range of behavior, um, which you can also frame under the, um, the moniker of complexity reduction, because there's only a finite set um, of um, um, behavior um, allowed or acceptable um, in this discourse. So we have, this. so for once, the subject is created by the power relations. However, the subject also creates power relations. So this is the agency um, of the subject. Um, so in this, it is able to influence others um, in the discourse and sets possible ranges of behavior. Um, and as I've mentioned, this is an iterative uh, cyclical process um, with constantly changing relational power dependencies, so constantly changing influences in negotiation, what is true and what is acceptable in this discourse. So while this has been very uh, theoretical so far, now let's see how this applies um, for the DH. Um, so the discourse that I identify here as subjectivation discourse in the DH is the discussion of what belongs or what belongs not to the DH, the frameworks, the modes of operations, and their place, creating the discourse of the DH, creating something of a field or discipline of the DH, the community um, of DHists, 
um, and practitioners of various degrees who self-proclaim as the Chi humanists. So what is the context and those epistles um, within uh, um, our um, DH discourse? Um, so the context I identified as the digitalization, um, where the DH emerged as an update in um, asterisks uh, of humanities computing during the ongoing digitalization of society and the sciences um, as the backdrop of advances and much easier access to technical infrastructures and resources, mainly the advances in computers, also the possibilities of mass digitization since the late 90s um, that you're probably familiar with. Then what are these technologies of self, these practices that are uh, acceptable within um, the discourse? Um, and these kind of practices can be framed as what is considered to to be a DH project. Is a database already a DH project? It's a negotiation uh, process in this regard. Um, then also the specific requirements of what is good scientific practice in the digital humanities. So for example, fair principles, or reproducible research, or collaborative um, research, interdisciplinarity, multidisciplinarity. These can all be framed um, within these technologies of self that are um, the, considered DH. Um, and then we also have the point of positioning. So um, how do we position ourselves within or outside the discourse of DH is by simply participating in the discussions on so-called DH topics. But more, more or less the community decides what is um, DH. Um, we publish, or as positioning inside the discourse is publishing in specific DH journals, and of course, finally, the self-declaration um, of being a digital humanist at Twitter, for example. Then um, we also, um, oh yeah, and um, like the, it's not only um, so the subject that uh, is, uh, creates power relations is also um, uh, influencing others, of course, with participating in these discourses, uh, in the discussions of um, what becomes a community, um, and also by publishing, um, and also uh, in a negative way in calling out bad practices, for example, of what should not be considered the age or to what degree other things should be considered. Um, DH. Here, um, especially uh, the power for disruption and transformation um, is possible um, in regards to um, um, updating um, the digital humanities to uh, current questions like green DH or postcolonial um, DH. Of course, this is an iterative process, so you don't have to the community, uh, so the community and each member um, cyclically influence each other and calibrate on what it means to be part of the DH community and what it means to be part, uh, um, DH in a, in a negotiation process of self-actualizations and self-assurance on the goals and values and uh, the nature of the digital hum um, humanities. Um, this is also reflected in um, some projects like the presentism um, within the DH, um, as I've mentioned, um, green DH, like um, questions on how to build a new future, uh, what the contribution of the digital humanities can be, this classical negotiation um, process, uh, questions on inclus uh, inclusion, uh, inclusion like in uh, postcolonial DH or um, the exclusion of the so-called global south, um, representation, like for queer DH um, or also in absences in archives, how to counter um, um, act those, and of course, quests um, uh, resulting from climate change and sustain sustainability questions as in uh, green DH. Even the theme of this year's uh, DH 2023 conference on the revolutionariness of DH fits very well within this development of presentism of the DH when asking about the potential of the age to contribute to current political events, asking for a nego negotiation of how we can solve this, introducing our discussions and furthering um, the discourse here. 
to sum up, um, the discourse um, on the nature and placement um, of the DH can act as a means of formally establishing the disciplinary independence, but also the disciplinary dependence of the DH, de depending on the outcome of this discourse. Um, and as I um, hypothesized or framed it, um, the subjectivation um, discourse as a negotiation process provides both room and creates agency for the subjects of the discourse, um, which is the creation of a field or discipline called the digital humanities, the creation of a DH community, and the creation of DH subjects, its practitioners who um, um, sign up to DH to various degrees, of course, but all of which iteratively, cyclically um, influence each other. And I'm very happy to discuss this with you a bit, and thank you for your attention.